Last week, OnePlus released the stable Oxygen OS 4.0, which is based on Android 7.0 for the OnePlus 3 and 3D. So if you go to the uh, board phone, you can find I'm using Oxygen OS 4.0, which is based on Android version 7.0. This is a stable build. Let's go ahead and check out the features features of this release. So uh, uh, as we already told, it's an Android 7.0 Nougat based. And then we have new notification design, new settings menu design that you can see. There is a notification menu and we'll be having different pages. You can add or remove like this. And then if you tap on this one, it will show you more detailed information about that. So each tab will be having some kind of this kind of sub menus, which is pretty good. And if you go to settings menu, you can see it's a new settings menu. If you slide from the left, you can navigate to different settings from any, anywhere. But if you just click that also, it will come. So that's the settings menu. And then it comes with a multi-window view. So if you go to the recent panel and then click any anyone anything and then drag and drop here, it will go to the first tab and then you drop here it will go to the second tab so you can see i'm using multi multi window here if you want to close the multi window i can just slide down and the notification direct replay is there so if any if you are receiving any whatsapp messages or messages something so you can see it here and there will be a replay direct replay button there so you can replay to that one directly without even opening that application so that is there and the one main important option is that uh, it is having custom dpi option so if you go to the display and then here is a display size so you can change the dpi from here and next one added status bar icon options as well as improved shelf customization so this is the shelf and you can add recent uh, contacts recent apps or any other widgets here and then you can uh, resize it like you want it. All these things are updated. And let's go and check out other settings in uh, available here. These are the regular settings you, you see. And then data usage, you can see data saver. And then data usage control also. So it's more like a firewall option. You can uh, block or allow independent applications and then in more you'll get all the regular options and it's library is there you can customize like favorite uh, contacts you can add in buttons nothing new just is also the same status bar you can uh, show the battery percentage here battery status icon and you can choose which option should have a status bar icon if it's turned on in display we have sleep night mode screen calibration you can do ambient displays there in sound we have audio settings so if you connect your earphone you can use different equalizers and then battery in battery we have aggressive dose and app hibernation as well as high power usage so you can not will automatically close any application which is using high power and then we have uh, app locker in appearance we have accessibility options where you can do many things schedule power on off is there pocket mode recent apps clear all mode so that's all we can see from the settings menu i'm talking about the antutu benchmarking score so this is the score right the card this is a 3d and then ux cpu and ram so this is score record overall this is a stable build 
but there is one issue with the play store if you try to download any play application from the play store you may encounter an issue like it won't be downloading so in that case you need to go to a battery saver option and then click on the battery saver then it will really start downloading so there is one big bug here so you have to bear with that one but you can expect a, a permanent fix in the, soon so if you are really want to try the nougat features you can go ahead and get this update via OTA or you can flash it manually through GW I hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching please subscribe for more